chaos from beyond. This is an unsettling tale of four brave children, Tim, Alex, Paul, and Kenny. Their thrill for adventure lures them to explore an eerie cave, which conceals a portal to an unimaginable dimension. From this portal, an abomination of nature materializes. A horrifying creature, unlike any known life form, emerges. Its body was a chaotic mix of flesh, eyes, limbs, and two ominous tentacles that moved with a life of their own. Encountering this entity in their journey, Alex gets injured. The frightful quartet scrambles for safety, pursued fiercely by the monstrosity. They navigate through the dense forest and sprint across the nearest road where fate intervenes. A car collides with the chimeric pursuer. The terrified driver, unable to comprehend what he hit, dials for law enforcement. On arrival, the police, assuming the alien life form to be deceased, transports it to their station. Meanwhile, Officer Montgomery meets an eerie predicament. Drawn by an uncanny noise, he finds himself face to face with the dormant beast, a sight concealed by a sheet in the morgue. Without warning, the creature springs back to life, subduing the officer with one of its coiling, snake-like tentacles. As it shrieks hoarsely, the monstrosity dashes down the hallway, Montgomery captive in its foul grasp. In an adjacent room, the initial band of young explorers is under the care of Officer Jenny, especially Alex, whose wound exhibits alarming signs of infestation. Realizing the severity of the condition, Jenny decides it's time to alert the hospital. Just as an ordinary day at the police station unfolds, a ghastly howl sends blood-curdling chills down every spine present. Before they regain their bearings, the creature bursts in, still clutching the unconscious Montgomery. A moment of terrifying silence ensues with tension spiking high. The creature, ignoring the armed resistance, gruesomely disjoints Montgomery echoing screams of horror that prelude a sporadic lot of futile gunshots. Unfazed by the bullets, the creature retaliates with alarming agility, spewing a corrosive substance onto nearby officers. Helpless agony fills the station as flesh dissolves beneath the alien venom. As the sheriff braces for action, he equips himself with an arsenal of weapons from a nearby locker. Armed heavily, the sheriff readies for the approaching showdown against the otherworldly terror. Who will survive? As the sheriff takes a deep breath and prepares to face the otherworldly terror, the atmosphere in the police station becomes even more tense. The creature, sensing the impending confrontation, lets out a deafening screech that sends shivers down the spines of everyone present. With a steady hand, the sheriff takes aim and fires a barrage of bullets at the creature. But to his astonishment, the bullets seem to have little effect. The monster swiftly dodges the bullets with its eerie agility, while its corrosive venom continues to dissolve the flesh of the officers unfortunate enough to be in its path. Realizing that conventional weapons are useless against this abomination, the sheriff quickly formulates a plan. He signals to Officer Jenny to evacuate the injured and remaining officers to safety while he takes on the creature alone. As the rest of the station is cleared, the sheriff dives into the arsenal of weapons searching for something that could potentially bring down the creature. His hands shake in anticipation as he finally lays his eyes on a shotgun loaded with custom-made slugs specifically designed to pierce through tough hides and exoskeletons. Armed with the shotgun, the sheriff cautiously approaches the creature, his heart pounding.
pounding in his chest. The monster hisses, its multiple eyes gleaming with an otherworldly intelligence. But the sheriff stands his ground, ready to put an end to the chaos that has consumed the station. With a thundering roar, the creature lunges at the sheriff, its tentacles flailing in every direction. The sheriff takes aim and fires, the deafening sound of the shotgun reverberating through the air. The slug pierces through the creature's flesh, causing it to recoil in pain. Realizing that it is facing a formidable opponent, the creature thrashes around, desperately trying to subdue the sheriff. But the sheriff proves to be an exceptional marksman, firing shot after shot at the creature's vulnerable spots. Each slug takes its toll, weakening the creature's movements and resolve. Finally, with one last calculated shot, the sheriff delivers a final blow that sends the creature crashing to the ground. The station falls into an eerie silence as the creature lies motionless, its grotesque form slowly disintegrating. Exhausted but triumphant, the sheriff breathes a sigh of relief. The threat that had terrorized the station has been neutralized, but as the adrenaline wears off, he can't help but wonder, was this truly the end? Or just the beginning of something even more sinister? Meanwhile, back at the cave, where the children first found the portal, more creatures emerge, one after another. Each one more terrifying than the last. Now, the sheriff and the remaining officers must now deal with the horde of terrifying creatures that have emerged from the cave. With their town in danger, they gather their courage and prepare for the ultimate battle against these otherworldly terrors. The fate of the town hangs in the balance as they face off against the creatures, each one more terrifying than the last. Will they be able to overcome this new threat? and save their town from destruction. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.